Welcome. All right, so in this case, what I have is 4 raised to the x equals 11. And what I'm trying to do is I need to go ahead and determine, you know, how am I going to solve this by using my 1 to 1 properties? Well, there's a 1 to 1 properties for exponents. And that means if I can raise 4 and 11 to the same base, I can go ahead and cancel out the bases and just solve for the power and, so, and set the powers equal to each other to solve. But the problem is I can't raise 4 and 11 to the same base. And so therefore, it comes up and I might want to look into using the logarithm property, the 1 to 1 property for logarithms. The 1 to 1 property for logarithm state, if I have the log of the base b of the same base equal to x equal to the log of base b equal to y, since they have the same bases, x is going to equal y. And so therefore, if I can take the log of both sides. Now, where it gets a little tricky, and what you need to understand is, you know, remember when we're taking a logarithm, we have a base of a logarithm. And we need to decide which base of a logarithm are we going to choose. So I go back to my properties of logarithms, and I understand that log base b of b equals 1. That means if I had log base 3 of 3, that answer is 1, because 3 raised to what power gives you 3? We know the answer is 1. The other property of logarithm states that if I had log base b of b raised to a power, that's just going to equal x, that power. So what I need to do is I want to solve for this x. So I want to get rid of these logarithms. So if I take log base 4 of 4, I know that's just going to equal my exponent. So therefore, this now just goes to 1. I'm just left with x equals log base 4 of 11. Now, unless you have a calculator that you can plug in your own base and um, value, a lot of times you're going to have to Attention use the change girl. of base. There will be a softball slow pitch meeting Wednesday, October the 2nd at 2.15. Now, and when doing a problem like this, three. you can decide three, what type three, of three, base you seven. want. You can use either base. You can use base 4, but your calculator is only going to compute base 10. You could also do ln of 11 over ln of 4, whatever really is going to work for you. Sorry about the interruption. So all I'm going to do is take my calculator, and I am just going to now compute log of 11 divided by log of 4. And therefore, that's going to give me x equals approximately 1.73 as I round to the 100th power, so there, or 100th digit. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a logarithm by using your one-to-one -one properties of logs. Thanks.